Welcome back to the More Plants Official Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious beef and broccoli. Let's get right into this. Here's everything you're going to need to make beef and broccoli at home. So you're going to need some vegan beef of choice right here. I got some vegan beef slice I got from the Asian supermarket. Just hydrated these overnight, pressed them dry with a kitchen towel. Use any kind of vegan beef you want, so Gardein works or any other brand works. Got some onions, garlic, ginger, scallions, as well as some Chinese broccoli right here. And this is different from the broccoli you typically see, you know, at your local grocery store, but I get this at the Asian supermarket. I like it a lot. If you can't find that type of broccoli, then the regular kind works. Let's get right into this. First, we're gonna make our sauce. So I got a pan on medium heat here, going in with some oil. Once that oil heats up, going in with some onions. Garlic, going in. Ginger, going in. And scallions, going in. Mix this in. Once that garlic, ginger, scallion, and onion have softened up and it's been cooking about three minutes or so, all I'm gonna do is deglaze this pan with Shaoxing wine here. Just let that cook out the alcohol. Also, soy sauce going in. I'm using Chinese soy sauce. The brand I like is Li Kum Ki. To this, going in with some sugar here, or you can use your favorite sweetener. Also, going in with some mushroom seasoning right here. White pepper going in. Also, fresh ground black pepper going in. Some water going in. And we're just gonna bring this up to a boil here. All right, this is boiling here. It's gonna cut our heat down to low. I'm going in with some sesame oil here. All right, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. Going in with some cornstarch slurry here. Mix this in. This is just cornstarch mixed with water. I'm just gonna mix this in well until this sauce thickens up nicely. This sauce is nice and thick here. I'm just gonna go in with some toasted sesame seeds. Mix these in. And this right here is your finished restaurant style Chinese brown sauce. Going in with our vegan beef slices. Mix these in. All right, so our beef is all done here. Just gonna add this to a bowl, set it aside. Last step, going in with some oil. Got a pan on high heat here. Going in with our Chinese broccoli. Mix this in. A little bit of water here just to steam up the stems and soften them up. And finally, go in with our sauce here in our beef. Mix this in, and this is it, y'all. You're finished. Chinese beef and broccoli. Better than takeout right here. And there it is, your finished beef and broccoli. Some scallions over the top, nice and simple. Also, sesame seeds over the top. And that's it, guys. Restaurant style beef and broccoli. 100% plant-based at home. All done. Let's get right into this. First things first, get you a sip of this right here. This is seltzer water with some maple syrup and some lime juice. Give us a good mix. Ladies first. Serve yourself up, baby. Chivalry's not dead. You gotta let the ladies go first. <laughs> Deanna doesn't want to be on camera. That's all good. It's good. You like it? Yeah. Let's try this. Get your body this right here. Take this to the dome. Vegan beef. Oh, yeah. 
sauce is on here. Chase that with some rice. Mmm. Now, bite of this broccoli here. Mmm. Cheers, y'all. How's everyone's New Year's resolutions going? My New Year's resolution was to eat less oil. <clears throat> I was trying to go oil-free. I've already uh, not really stuck to that here, but it's all good. Another bite of this vegan beef. Rice. Mm. Chinese broccoli. Mm. I could eat this all day, y'all. This is better than Chinese takeout. Mm. You know when it's this quiet at the table, you know the food's good. Oh, this is so good, yo. I could eat this all day. This tastes like the restaurant style beef and broccoli we had in Houston at Quan Yin. Another bite of this. Absolutely delicious. So good. The sesame flavor comes through. The saltiness of the soy sauce. The sweetness from the sugar. The garlic, scallion, onions, and ginger. They all play a role. They all play their part. And when you stir fry broccoli or any vegetables, something amazing happens. Like, the flavor is just so enhanced. It's so good. Like, I love stir frying the broccoli before I add the sauce back in. You guys don't even have to do that, but I highly recommend it. 
Mm. Man. Mm hmm Delicious, y'all. All right, last bite here. Piece of beef, piece of broccoli, some sauce dripping. Can't get much better than that. Take this to the dome, y'all. Mmm. Fresh. Next level. That's it. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you'll see me cooking next time in the comments. Smash that like button. Share this video on Facebook so someone else can see. And I'll see you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all.